Hey everybody! Welcome to another video where I do whatever I want and today I finally want to use the Mixade my sister got me for Christmas. Now what am I gonna make with it? Cookies? Brownies? Some sort of dessert? Pastry? No. I want to make pasta from scratch. I love pasta. I've always wanted to make it from scratch. One time Christopher, my brother, this human, tried to make it for me. He did, but it took him about three hours. Now I'm hoping it only takes me 30 minutes. I suck in the kitchen, but I've always wanted this Mixade, and I finally got it, so I've decided, you know what, we're gonna go outside our comfort zone. It's 2020, and I broke it. Really? Within two seconds I broke it? It's okay, it's a screw, so I was able to figure out how to do it. Don't really know what I'm doing, but let's figure it out together. Ready? Let's begin. So I got all the ingredients ready, and it says it's pretty simple. Pasta in general apparently is very simple to make. We're all just lazy and it's a lot easier coming straight out the box. But apparently this tastes a lot better. This is vegan, so there's gonna be no eggs in it, which apparently makes it tricky. First up, we need one and one fourth cup flour. There's two different kinds of flours we're gonna use. There's all purpose flour, and then there's the semolina, semolina flour. That's apparently finer and it's for making pasta. One, one fourth flour, one cup of the fancy flour. My thing with these bags is there's no way to seal them afterwards. Oh, that is fine. Oh, that's very fine. I don't even know how to explain it, but it is a very much a very fine powder. Half a teaspoon of salt, so I can do that. If I pull this off, 100% new year, new me. Just saying. The only time I fail with cooking is when they say, do something to taste. I don't know, I, like, I'm a garbage can. I think everything tastes good. Ah. Okay, mix it. Mix it with what? I'm guessing a whisk? I know we have one. I'm that person that needs very detailed instructions because if you don't I'll just assume something and then the comments make fun of me I mean how hard is it to mix powder together seems pretty easy create a well what in the world is a well what is a well in cooking oh you make a dent in the middle why didn't you just say that okay let's flatten it out Ooh, flat, 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 flat. this is professional watch out because I'm a professional now Pour in water, olive oil, and mix until well combined. Three fourths cup water. We're using the filtered fridge. I'm using the liquid measuring cup this time because every time I cook or do anything and I don't use the liquid one or the dry one for the liquid, you all just stress out. A cup is a cup! Yeah, that's three fourths. Put it in the middle. Now for the two tablespoons of olive oil. Water and oil don't mix. That's science, I know that's science. I feel like I'm gonna use this to mix. That seems more appropriate than a whisk. I feel like a whisk isn't gonna get her done and we gotta get her done. I don't know why I created a well when I, do they don't tell me how to mix. They just said, what do they want from me? There we go. How do I know what well combined is? And is that well combined? Like, just kind of seems like a crumble, if anything. Oh, you can mush it together. Oh, it's moldy. All right. Oh, this is bendy. This bends to how you want it to come. Learning new things every day. That seems well combined. Here, if we use my hands. Oh no, it's not. See, I had to do this and get the stuff at the bottom. Yeah, come on, get well combined. Be well combined. I think you're gonna be as good as you get. Okay, I have to knead this for eight to 10 minutes. Add more flour if the dough is too wet. Add more water if too dry. It's too dry. I can tell you that much right, right, right now. I pass out. That's all, folks. This is my working area. I know I'm supposed to put a little flour down. I cleaned this before we started. If you didn't see it, you're gonna have to believe me. Even if you don't, you're not eating this. What do you care? Put your block counter. Boy. I feel like it's definitely too dry of a mixture. And I'm definitely gonna need to add more water. But, oh, crack my fingers in it. <laughs> I'm gonna grab some water and just add a little bit. Sorry if I'm insulting anyone by my lack of knowledge on how to do this. Like, is it supposed to be sticky? Is it supposed to be crumbly? Is it supposed to be dry? Is it supposed to be wet? But not too wet, but not too dry. Like, how am I supposed to know? That seems more appropriate. Yeah, that seems right. That's a good substance. I do this for how long? Eight to 10 minutes? It's been like, Two minutes. I feel like a cat. You know, cats do this. This is what cats do. Come on, I'm a dog. Oh, that's my hair. I put it in a ponytail. I feel like I'm doing it right so far, which is insane. Never done something right in the kitchen. I'm 
out of breath from doing this. Just so everyone knows, I'm currently getting short on my breath. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna finish doing this, then I have to put it in a ball and put it in the fridge, and I will uh, see you after that fact. Welcome back, it's been 30 minutes. So, we are going to bring out the dough, lightly floured all over. I don't like to cut onto my chopping block counter. We're gonna use this. Oh, I need my rolling pin. You bet your bottom dollar we're using the kitchen gadget one. Cause girl, I love the stuff I test. Here's my dough. Now the instructions for this thingy are right here. Safety, blah, 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 blah. Ah, this thing. Cut dough into four pieces. How am I supposed to know if this is, they say cut them into their own little things, four ounces each. Like how many, I don't know how many ounces it is. Anyway, so I'm just gonna cut this into four parts and then it says to roll it quarter inch. So we're gonna use my cool little rolling pin to the red. Got it. Put a little flour on this puppy. I want it to sticky stick. Just a tat. Screw it. I'm using this counter. Those things suck. Bada boom. Bada beam. Okay. That's a quarter inch thick. Now I'm supposed to set this to setting eight. Oh my God, we did it. I'm not done at all. I have to fold it in half, left to right, and do it again. Do this a couple times. Too thick, too thick, too thick. So we just have to roll it through a couple times and make it a smaller number, and then smaller number. All the way down to, to two. I'm at a five right now. We started at an eight because the two is what we need for spaghetti and we're making spaghetti and meatballs. I can't believe I'm doing this. What in the world? Anything is possible, kids. You set your mind to it. Anything is freaking possible. Oh my gosh. What in the world? How am I doing this? How am I decent at this? And this is the last run through. Oh my gosh. We have a pasta strip. Now, we take this off, put in I think the other attachment. Wow, which one do I want? Now it says to dust the rolled sheet with the fancy flour. I think this is how you dust. You just kind of sprinkle, more, more like a sprinkle than a dust. It said the excess will fall off. Now I don't need my freaking pasta the size of me, so I'm gonna cut it in half. Now I got this pasta drying rack. I don't know, but I'm gonna try and hang the pasta on it after it comes out. I dust this side, I think. Dust, 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 dust. That's how dust works, right? Okay, I have to set this to a five, throw it through, and then we're good. Here we go, wish me luck. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my gosh. I have, I have, I have, I have noodles. What? I have, I have noodles. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, I dropped a noodle. Oh my gosh, I said dust it again. Dusting everything at this point. Oh, I'm, I'm stressed at how great this is going. Like I'm waiting for something bad to happen. Next one goes there. Woo, all right, I almost dropped it. That would have been the bad thing that I was waiting to happen. Here we go. Okay, it says cook immediately and I did not start my water. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna bring this to a boil. I'm gonna cut up another dough, cause I freaking can. these two balls. I'm gonna save those. Oh, dang it, I forgot to do my meatballs. I forgot about my meatballs. I got hit my sauce. I should have made homemade sauce. Like, let's be real, I should have done that. I'm gonna do a disgrace to this pasta by not. But uh, I got the second best thing. Never tasted this before in my life. Not organic, but it's called Yo Mama's. It's Yo Mama's basil fresh tomatoes sauce. So I thought that would be good. We'll heat it up so at least it's like hot or whatever. The pasta only takes like two to three minutes to cook because it's so fresh. Okay, so the water's boiling, but first I'm gonna heat up tomato sauce a little bit. Burn! 
sure. This is just three minutes, two to three minutes, and this will be made. Here we go, putting it in. Oh, it fell. Yeah, whatever, here we go. I'm not gonna have the, my meatballs for these first ones. The second round I go, there shall be, uh, be some balls of meat. Blam! Oh my God, it's almost done. Holy crap! It feels like a noodle already. Oh my gosh, I was so unprepared for this going well. Oh, my sauce. I See, I can't multi, I can't multitask. There's that. Shoot to get warm, but don't boil at me. Rude. Okay, woo, calm down, calm down, calm down. Oh, this is like angel hair pasta, y'all. Calm down, you're getting too boily. There we go. Okay, it's been almost two minutes. What's the thing if you throw it at the wall and it sticks, it's ready? Let's test it. Hold on, gotta get a noodle. Got one? Okay, if you throw it at the wall and it sticks, it's ready. Here we go. Did not stick. <laughs> it did not stick to the wall. Let's try it again. Oh, that's stuck though. That time it's stuck there. Oh, this is boiling. Push you on low. Give me a second here. I want to taste you. Come here. Stop being a punk. Give it to me. I just made pasta. Oh my God. Okay. I don't know. I don't even know how to function. Renegade. 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 Let's steam you up. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I've done this. Stay there. Don't tip over. Get a little sauce. Here we go. You know what? I'm gonna take a bite without the sauce so I can get the full flavor of the pasta. Look at this. Guys, you made pasta. I can't believe I just, I can't believe I made this. If anything else, it looks good. I'm actually really proud of myself. I just made something from scratch. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna put some sauce in it. And. That's for my next round. All right, here's it with the sauce. See if it blends. <laughs> Can't believe I made this. Guys, this was so easy. If you have all the right equipment. I win. This is some of the best pasta I've ever had. I am very critical of my own cooking. I think I'm trash. This is really good. And it's vegan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. I am so happy. Now there's some of you out there like, Rachel, that is so basic. Like anyone can make pasta from scratch. You obviously don't know me very well cause I can't do anything. All right, I'm gonna eat. Then we'll go to the outro. See how it tastes with the meatball. Mm. Which is my new favorite meal. I'm gonna eat this all the time. No vegetables, no fruit, just pasta. All right guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. I did because I made food that freaking tasted good. Which is like a first on this channel unless I was making some like ridiculous some more cookie brownie fiasco thing that's just sugar on sugar. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you're subscribed to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. I usually don't do cooking. It's usually more testing videos, but if you guys like this, I'd love to do more because I liked it. Uh, make sure you're also checking out my vlog channel and my podcast channel. Subscribing things are at the end slider and links below. I love you. Try new things. You can surprise yourself. Even if you've failed multiple times before, eventually you'll succeed. I mean, a broken clock's gotta be right two times a day, right? Ew! Just compared myself to a broken clock. Also, now I own this. I got nothing left. So remember guys, stay awesome possums.